Back in July, I hatched up an idea. How many adventures can you pack into a three-day weekend in the middle of the Midwest? Now this may not sound like such a difficult task for some, but when your home is in the center of a place known mostly for its cornfields, we had to stretch our gates a little bit further than our own backyard. And when we did, we found a whole new world of fun to be had and experiences to be cherished. I'm Nick, and that's Sky, and this is the story of our adventure. The first leg of our journey took us to Mega Caverns outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Our purpose in this mega man-made cave was to experience the zipline course that spanned over massive corridors and deathly drops within the walls of stone. Now unfortunately, dark caves and limited ways to point a camera while hurtling down a steel cable meant most of our footage ended up looking like this, or like this. But take our word for it, this tour is one of the most unique experiences you can sign up for. The lights that painted the walls and ground in such magnificent colors paired with well-experienced tour guides made this tour something truly memorable. You want to see something cool before I go down there? Is this hooked up on the other side or is it sitting down there in the mud? You can't really tell if the other side's hooked up or not, hooked up or not with 100% certainty. So how you check this on a heartbeat test, a real fancy term is a, is a rhythm resonance test. Basically, if this is hooked up right, it's a giant guitar string. If I put a rhythm into it, it'll go all the way down and come all the way back exactly the same. We know. <laughs> not to mention the thrill of being suspended over a drop that you cannot see the bottom of it keeps your adrenaline high and senses aware for the whole time so with our minds opened and our bones chilled in the caves it was time to resurface for the next destination in the journey from the cold and dark caves of the mega caverns our next destination was the hot and unforgiving rock slabs of the southeast mountain guides course this is where the thrill really kicks up a notch. This is a Via Ferrata style climbing course. The idea of the course is to make the act of rock climbing accessible to anyone without the potential danger that can come from inexperience. But don't let the rebar and steel cables fool you. This is still real rock climbing. It demands a good deal of strength and no small amount of concentration will be achieved. It is hot, tiring, and your arms will not work right for the rest of the day. But unlike some of the other adventures you can do in this region, there's a level of camaraderie and shared achievement that anyone who's climbed for the day comes to understand. Talking with other climbers about sections they were able to overcome and techniques they used to get past difficult parts makes this experience, in my opinion, better than any other off-the-shelf adventure you can find. This is one you really have to do for yourself to understand. We loved every minute of it and can't wait to come back to conquer it again. But as mentioned before, it left us hot, exhausted, and in need of a refresh from the day's grind. Enter our final destination. If you're familiar with the adventures this region of the country has to offer, then this last choice should be an obvious one to you. West Virginia is known the world over to have some of the best rapids in its rivers, the two most famous of which are the Blue River and the Gala River. We signed up with River Expeditions in Oak Hill, West Virginia to check out what all the hype was about. Our tour followed eight miles of the New River in the dead of summer, which translates to the worst possible time of year to visit, as this is when water levels tend to be the lowest and the rapids tend to be rocky and shallow. But nobody told the rapids that on this day. The river was flowing strong and with enough force to remind its visitors that the water still controls all. Still, at least it gave me a chance to look like a hero for a minute. There's a very good reason why this is the most popular outing to do in this region and why there are so many outfitters who offer this in their tour packages. It's a damn good time. No matter what time of year you go, you're guaranteed a great ride. I'd 
love to come back in the fall season when the waters are in full force, but that's a trip for another time. And that's it. That's what we could fit in our time frame. But, so what? Why did I bring you along on this journey? Well, I guess it was just to say this. Every now and then, we need to get past the blockers in our minds that keep us from engaging with the world outside our doors. This trip was proof that you don't need a detailed plan or a lot of time to have a fun time adventuring. I challenge you, drop it off for a couple of days and let the heat of the sun, the flow of the wind, and the cold of the spray bring your life back into your soul. Not to mention that sharing it with someone else makes it all the more fun along the way. So get out there, scrape up your hands, soak your clothes, and go seize the moment.